It took me several months and a lot of hard work, but I turned this space into a fantastic new shop. I started the work on the shop in late August, and I do have three other videos that detail the work that went into building this shop, but I thought it would be good to have a condensed version as well. When I started the project, I wanted to have it all in one video, but the task took much too long for that. So now that the shop is done, and I've had a chance to add a few more things in the shop, like a French cleat wall, some tool holders, and a workbench, I think now is a good time to do the short version of the shop build. So let's rewind back to August, when I first started work on the shop. My new shop is going to be half of the bottom floor of the barn. So that's going to be 20 feet by 30 feet, or about 600 square feet. The plan is to put a wall with a door in it across the middle of the barn. Then to insulate all the walls and the ceiling so that I can heat the space during the winter. Currently, there are only a couple of electrical outlets in the barn and they're all on one 15 amp circuit. So I'll be adding eight more outlets on two new 20 amp circuits. I'm gonna start the work over here in this corner, only because it has the least amount of clutter in it. The boundary to the shop is here. And my first step will be to start pulling some of these old boards off the wall. This was once a horse barn, and the walls are covered with these tongue and groove two by sixes, and they'll all need to come off. The space behind these boards is filled with spiders, rat's nests, wasp's nests, and more. So after the boards are off, I can clean up the mess and start building my new divider wall. The electrical will enter through the top of this wall, and it'll run down this side of the shop where I'll add four of the eight new outlets. For insulation, I'm gonna use rock wool. Since it's known to be more pest resistant, as well as more fire resistant than fiberglass, it's also a lot less itchy to work with. The rock wool will get covered with a vapor barrier. For that, I'm using 6 mil poly. Once the vapor barrier is on and taped, I can start adding some paneling. My choice for paneling was determined by cost. This stuff's called Bintinger. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's very thin and seems to warp easily, but stapling it to the wall studs with a lot of staples seems to iron out all the warping. This first section seems to have turned out pretty well. This job is going to have to be done in sections, since the shop area is filled with stuff. So now that I have this corner done, it's time to move the stuff from this area over to my newly completed section. This next chunk of wall had a lot more wood to remove. I think that some horses had kicked the wall to bits here, so someone added a bunch of boards over the partially broken stuff so the horses wouldn't kick their way right out of the barn. There is also quite the mess behind these boards, including this old abandoned wasp nest. Once I got it all cleaned out, I added two more outlets to this wall, and then started putting in the insulation and the vapor barrier, and then covered it up with paneling. This side's moving right along, but before I add too much clutter to it, I'm going to add the insulation and vapor barrier to the ceiling while I can still get at it. I've gone just about as far as I can on this wall for now. Next, I've got to clear some space over here so I can get to this door. Calling this a door is a bit generous. It's just a hole in the wall that has a sliding cover. I'm going to add a proper door here. After adding the door, I put in the last outlet for this side, added the rock wall, covered it with vapor barrier, and added paneling. That's a pretty big section done, and in real time, this has taken about three weeks. This barn has big doors on both ends, and we only ever use one of them. The other one is used so little that the grass has grown in all around it, and I needed to dig it out just to get it open. This big back door is going to get walled up. From the outside it'll look the same, but it will no longer be functional. Before I can close the door off, I have to clear some space. And there are some boards to be removed from these walls as well. After adding the framing, I'm also going to add some plywood panels to the outside of this wall. The doors will cover it up fairly well, but the plywood will keep out whatever the doors will not. And it'll also stop the insulation from pushing right through the wall when it's added. Now just add vapor barrier, and then paneling. With that door covered, I can move on to the other half of the shop. 
This side has a lot more stuff to move out of the way. And I'm also going to get rid of these old kitchen cabinets. These cabinets are really not salvageable. They're rotting and moldy. So they're going to go to the fire pit. This corner is all clear now. And this wall here is the last one remaining of all the horse stalls that were once in the barn. But now it has to go. And while I'm destroying stuff, I'm going to pull the boards off this wall as well. These boards aren't going to waste though. I'm pulling all the nails from them and cleaning them up before I store them up in the loft for future projects. The boards are in pretty rough shape. But once cleaned up and milled down, they turn into some surprisingly nice lumber. Now it's time to build another wall. And much like the first wall, on the other side of the shop, the electrical from this side enters from the top of the wall and it'll carry on down the side of the barn. To finish the wall, I'll add some paneling to the back, fill it with insulation, cover it with vapor barrier, and then finish off the panel. Time to turn the corner and work on the next section. I've already pulled the boards off this part, so I can start on the wiring, and then add insulation and vapor barrier. And paneling. This is getting pretty close to done. We're into October now, and it's starting to get cold. I hope this gets done before it gets really cold in here. Once again, it's time to move a bunch of stuff. Once clear, I can pull the boards off the wall. Clean it all out. Run the electrical. Add the rock wool. Cover it in vapor barrier. And then close it all up with the paneling. This is the last of the demolition. Once these are removed, there are no more boards that need to be pulled off. This is a big milestone, since pulling all these boards off is a lot of work. It's really satisfying to know that I won't need to remove any more of these boards. And to finish this wall off, I can run the last electrical outlet, stuff in the insulation, add vapor barrier, and finish it off with paneling. The job is nearly complete. And that's a good thing too, because it is getting colder almost every day. Before I can call this done, I have one more wall to build. This wall will complete the dividing wall across the barn and totally enclose the space. This next bit is where I'll add the door to use as my main entrance to the shop. I did want this to be a double door, but the budget is already out of control, and I can easily manage with a single door. But I did get the widest door that I could. This door even has a window in it. It's too bad that I tried installing it by myself and ended up dropping it. So that was a hit to the budget. After getting a new window, I asked my wife to help install it. Once installed, I finished insulating the wall, added my vapor barrier, and then once again covered it all in paneling. So now all the walls are done, and I have a fully enclosed shop space, but not yet fully insulated. For that, I have to add insulation to the rest of the ceiling. There, now it's all insulated. I kind of lied a little bit. 
Even after the walls are done and the ceiling is insulated, the shop is not 100% fully insulated. I still have to do something about the stairs to the loft. That's a pretty big hole in the ceiling for all my warm air to vent out of. And this is the only way to get to the loft. But I have a great idea about how to fix this issue. Click here to see how I fix the problem.